<clears throat> la 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 la. Oh shit. God. Oh wait, am I recording this? Oh, um. Well, what's up, dudes and dudettes? I'm feeling so hyper and excited today, and I'm freaking out. Actually, no, I am not that happy nor hyper, but uh, I feel like doing a weird little intro for you guys, although um, I didn't actually mean to record that. I was just being my weird little retarded self, um, so yeah. And I have some grave news for you guys. Um, it appears that my Xbox is broken. Dun, dun, dun. I am so sad. It, I haven't even gotten the Red Rings of Death. It's just that I put a game in, I'll play for approximately two minutes, and then the Xbox will freeze. And it's not like a freeze where the game freezes and it's just kind of the disc. No, it freezes on every game I play, and once it's frozen, I can't talk to anybody. I can't even open the uh, Xbox opening screen, whatever it is, I can't turn it off except for pressing a little button on the front. So yeah, it's broken, which unfortunately for you guys means either I'm gonna have to start reusing gameplay or using terrible gameplay like the one you're seeing right now. Actually, right now I am rocking the L96 on Nuketown and don't think that I'm gonna get a good game because I believe I end it at 15 and 9. It's pretty terrible, so if you're gonna hate on me for that, I don't care. I was This is actually a uh, live commentary I did a very long time ago. It was one of my first really good comms and um, the point I was trying to get across this commentary was just because you don't get a good score or don't do amazingly well doesn't mean you can't have fun with the game like I believe that what you hear from Hutch or somebody complaining about maybe a sniper being overpowered doesn't mean you shouldn't use it obviously the L96 is not overpowered and on that note this was actually pre sniper patch this was before all that patching did it to uh, make the sniping easier so you're gonna see a lot of fails and uh, a lot of stupid stuff as long as some hard scoping but um, I don't really believe in hard scopes or quick scopes I just believe in scoping in general because uh, that's what you need to do to point at the enemy and however you get your kill that's between you and your gun and whoever dies. But yeah, aside from the gameplay, I'm gonna kinda stay away from that now, oh, stupid gameplay talk, blah blah blah. I'm gonna start talking about my life story, and this one is probably a traumatizing yet super cool at the same time. Like, at the moment it happened, it was, I was freaked out, out of my mind, and then after it, it's something that you can laugh off and say, oh yeah, that was awesome, I actually did that. So what happened was, um, if you guys remember, I used to live in San Diego, and in San Diego, yes, we do actually have an ocean, as well as a bay, and because we had such a expansive water, not, not expansive, I, I don't even think that's a word. Maybe that's just the way rednecks say expensive, like, damn, that's expansive. But um, yeah, I'm rambling now, sorry you guys. So we had a boat as well because, you know, we're like, hey, there's water, we should get a boat to go onto the water. And because we had a boat, we went in the ocean a lot in the bay, and one day I was with my cousin, Legend Zephyr, many of you may notice him in a lot of my gameplays because I play with him all the time, and uh, we were riding on a tube behind our boat because we have like a sports boat, you know, the one that you would go play around tow tubes and stuff. And if you don't know all of this stuff, a tube is basically where you get this float floatable, flotation, I'm making words up all over the place. But uh, basically, you get an inner tube, and you put it, you tie it to a rope, and you tie that rope to the boat, and the rope's like 75 feet long, and uh, the boat will make wakes and stuff, and it can pull you really fast, and when you're on that thing, every little bump seems like a huge bump, because the boat weighs like 2,000 pounds, and the tube weighs like 60, so uh, if you can imagine the difference, it's pretty crazy. Well, when you're in the ocean, it, everything changes, like, maybe you guys have done this on the lake, but in your, when you're in the ocean, everything is just crazy, like, everything's bumpy, there's huge swells that you go under, and I remember our boat would go over a swell, and we'd be on the other side, and the rope would literally go into the water, the boat would disappear, like, we were on a day with some pretty high rollers, some six-foot swells, which, if any of you know what that means, those are pretty fracking enormous, but, um, we were driving around, and my dad thought that it would be hilarious if he got our tube to hit one of the buoys out laying in the ocean, you know, the ones that say, hey, the beer, the beer, yeah, the beer's over here, no, the bay is over here, so we're driving along, I'm chilling on the back of the tube like a total broski, and my dad spots this buoy with a bunch of sea lions on it, and if you cannot make the distinction between a seal and a sea lion, basically, a seal is like a 50-pound version of a really cute otter or something, like, they're cute, I like watching seals, however, a sea lion is like a fat, 500 pound version of an ugly piece of garbage, I guess. I guess they could resemble a dumpster. But basically, a seal, they don't bark, they don't do anything bad, they just look cute. Sea lions, they will bark at you, and if you get in between a sea lion and its food, you might as well be in front of a train, because you're gonna get completely wrecked. And so he finds this buoy with all these sea lions, and as we're getting close on our tube, all the sea lions start bailing, they're like, oh shit, Crazy Gunner's coming, GTFO! And so they get off the thing, except for this one 
cocky, young sea lion who's like, uh-uh, bitch, I'm staying here. And mind you guys, my dad did not inform me of his cute little plan to slam me up against this buoy, and uh, my cousin was sitting next to me, and he didn't know either. So I am about ready to shit my pants because I've got all these sea lions swimming under me, and when I say buoy, I mean this thing was fat, and it had about 20 sea lions on it, and they all jumped off except for the single one, and so we're approaching the buoy, and the sea lion is looking at us barking. He's just like, oh, 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 and we're like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, don't eat me. And uh, we get up, and my dad turns off the boat, and we are just caught on this buoy. Our rope, like, it gets tangled around the other side because of the way the swells are going. So we're stuck on this buoy. This sea lion is barking in my face, literally two feet away from me. The spit from his mouth is getting on my face, and I am ready to shit myself. And I'm sitting there debating whether to go in the water or to stay on the tube, because this thing starts, like, walking towards us. He is ready to board our tube. And I'm seeing this, like, Pirates of the Caribbean where they're all, like, jumping from ship to ship, and I'm like... This fat motherfucker's gonna get on our tube, oh my god! And so, uh, then I was like, if I jump in the water though, then there's 19 of these things, they can swim three times as fast as I can, and th if I'm in the way between them and a fish or something, they are gonna plow right through me, and I was very traumatized. Like, honestly, I was more scared than if I had seen a shark in the water, which I have. And so, me and my cousin are both leaning to the farthest side of the tube, and then the tube starts to flip over, it like starts going up and up, and we're like, oh god, and uh, luckily we did not flip, and my dad started the boat and started going again, because we're like, what the hell are you doing? We're screaming at him, we're just uh, pretty much traumatized there, and uh, yeah, that's how the story ends, kind of anticlimactic, but uh, we got away, we made it safe, hooray, and now you guys have been watching this title screen for a long time, I apologize, I did not realize how far I went, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the story, don't forget to give me a like, and I'll see y'all later, peace out!